Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is a question from the very first P1 paper, the January 2019 P1 paper, and it's a question that um, I had uploaded like the night before the exam took place in 2019, and my laptop, um, I didn't have a proper mic at that time, and my laptop mic, something happened to it, and the, the, sorts, the recording, the audio is really, really bad. Um, as it was a, just the night before the exam, I had no chance to kind of do anything to fix it, whatever. I just uploaded it as it was. I thought I would change it later, but I never got around to changing it. And it's become one of the most popular videos, but the audio is so bad, it's embarrassing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re-record this, um, this video for this question. Hopefully answer it in an even better way. And, um, you know, just so that it's not so annoying for people who are watching it. Um, and I'm going to take the old one out of the playlist. I'll leave it in, in YouTube I'll put the, and I'll put a link from that video to this updated version. Um, so, you know, people who are watching that will see that there is a link taking them to this. So either you got there by that link or you got there by the new uh, playlist um, link. Whatever way you got here, this is question number five from January 2019. I'm going to go ahead and answer it now. Now here we have figure two showing part of the uh, curve with the equation y equals cosine 2x with x being measured in radians okay x being measured in radians so there's a few things that are important first of all this is the curve y equals cosine of 2x and the angles are in radians not in degrees okay so the point p shown in figure 2 is a minimum point on the curve state the coordinates of p all right so first of all i'm going to think about Imagine this was y equals cosine x. And then I'm going to modify it to make it cosine 2x. But we should know um, how the curve y equals cosine x looks like. We should know it has this, this shape, okay, between 0 and 2 pi, that keeps repeating. Uh, we should know that the cosine of 0 is 1. The cosine of 90, which is pi over 2, is 0. The cosine of 180, which is pi, is minus 1. The cosine of 270 is 0, and the cosine of 360 is 1. We should know those facts. If you forgot, you can just use your calculator and remember. Cosine of 0, cosine of pi over 2 will give you 0, cosine of, of pi will give you minus 1, and so on. All right, so just imagine this was cosine x. This would be pi over 2. This would be pi. This would be 3 pi over 2. And this would be 2 pi. And it would repeat every 2 pi. Cosine, two, cosine x repeats every 2 pi. So this is 2 pi here. So this is going to be 4 pi. This is pi. This is um, pi. This is going to be 3 pi. Okay. This is 0. This is 2 pi. This is pi over 2. This is pi over 2 plus 2 pi. Which is going to be pi over 2 plus... 4 pi over 2, which is 5 pi over 2. So this is going to be 5 pi over 2 at this point here. 5 pi over 2. And this is going to be 7 pi over 2, and so on. Okay, so that's how the cosine curve repeat. It repeats, the same pattern repeats again. Right, so that's cosine of 2x. Now, what we want to draw is y equals cosine of... So, sorry, that's y equals cosine of x. We want to draw y equals cosine of 2x. Now, what we have to understand is when you have y equals f of x and you want to draw or you want to show f of 2x. Now, here what's happened is the x inside the function has been replaced by 2x. So what that represents is a horizontal, a horizontal stretch. And the factor, the stretch factor is the reciprocal of that number, which is a half. Okay, so whatever x, the, the y values stay as they are. So this is going to be a 1. If y equals cosine 2x, this is going to be 1, this is going to be minus 1. That's the maximum and the minimum that the cosine curve reaches. Cosine x, cosine 2x, the y values are not affected. The x values are affected. And each x value is multiplied by a half. You have to multiply. You have to do a half times the x coordinates of all the points. So, for example, this was pi over 2. Actually, what it's going to become now is... In cosine 2x, that will be pi over 4, a half of pi over 2. This is pi, this will be pi over 2. This was 3 pi over 4, 2, it will be 3 pi over 4. This is 2 pi, this is going to become pi. Okay, so these values will all be halved. 
it's like the sine curve has the cosine curve has been um, like squashed, you could say. So this is these values are now not as they were before. Okay, we don't have to put them. I'm just putting it. This is one. This is minus one. This is zero. That doesn't change. Half of zero, zero. But what was pi over two now becomes pi over four. What was pi becomes pi over two. What was three pi over two becomes three pi over four. And what was two pi becomes pi. And it now repeats every pi degrees. So basically what we can say is the coordinates of the point P are going to be basically pi over two and negative one. Pi over two and negative one. So that is the answer to part A. Okay, now I'm going to move on to part B. All right, it says sketch on diagram around the curve with equation y equals sine x. Remember, this is y equals cosine of 2x. And as we mentioned, um, what would be pi over 2 becomes pi over 4. What becomes um, uh, pi becomes pi over 2. What was 3 pi over 2 becomes 3 pi over 4. And what was 2 pi becomes pi. So that's the new values of the coordinates for cosine 2x. And therefore, this is going to be, it's going to be um, 2 pi. Well, actually, this is going to be pi plus pi over 4, because it repeats every pi. That's going to be 5 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and so on. All right? So this will be, um, yeah, 5 pi over 4, and so on. So this is, this is up to pi. Okay? So that's pi over 2. That's pi. Okay? So that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be 3 pi over 2. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be 2 pi. Okay, so that though that's 0 pi over 2. Um, that's, that's 0 pi over 2. And that's pi. That's 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. Okay, so those are those values. Now, the y equals sine x, we're going to draw on the same curve. Now, when x is 0, the sine of 0 is 0. So it's going to go through this point. When x is equal to um, um, pi over 2, then this is equal to 1, which is up there. When x is equal to pi, then sine of pi is 0. It's going to go through there. When x is equal to 3 pi over 2, the sine of 3 pi over 2 is minus 1, which is down here. It goes like this. And when x is equal to 2 pi, it's going to go like this. So the sine curve, y equals sine x, goes like this. That's how it will look. It will look something like this. Okay? So if I want to sketch this curve, I've got to be trying to do as, as neat as possible. It goes through that point. Comes down. That point. And up. Okay? And then that repeats again. Okay? That repeats. So... Basically, you can see that that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to go up here. And then it's going to go after 4 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4 down here. So it's going to go something like this. Okay. It's a bit weird at the end there. Let me just fix that. Come down like this, something like this. Okay. So that's y equals y equals the sine of x. Okay, so that's how y equals sine of x looks. Let's also continue here. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to go like this as well. Okay, so that's y equals sine x drawn in this same axis. Okay, so between 0 and 2 pi, it has this shape, and then it repeats. It repeats. Okay, so that's drawing on the same diagram y equals sine x. Then it says, hence or otherwise, deduce the number of solutions of the equation cosine x, 2x equals sine x that lie in the region of x between 0 and 20 pi. Okay, now, we can see that this sine 2x is going to repeat every 2 pi. Okay, this section will keep repeating. Between this point here, let me make it a different color. Um, between this point here and this point here, that same pattern will repeat again and again every 2 pi. 
So you could just basically cut and paste this section here and you know keep adding it to the end and you can go up to 20 to 20 pi and basically it, you know it will keep repeating all right the same pattern now how do we solve an equation when something is equal to something else cosine 2x is equal to sine x how do we solve such an equation well um, the solution to this equation graphically is by seeing where they intersect when they intersect that is going to be a solution so here these these two graphs intersect between 0 and 2 pi uh, one place two places and here they touch three places between 0 and 2 pi there's three places one two three places and that same you know um, thing is going to repeat up to 20 pi how many two pies fit into 20 pi well there's 10 okay you can say that 20 pi okay 20 pi divided by um, 2 pi is equal to 10 so if there are three solutions within 2 pi so like question number part one we have three solutions up to from 0 to 2 pi and we want to find how many solutions how many solutions between 0 to 20 pi so there's 10 this is this is like 10 times so this is going to be 10 times so it's going to be 3 times 10 which will be 30 solutions there'll be 30 solutions you have 1 2 3 okay between 0 and 2 pi and those same 3 will continue so there'll be 20 solutions between 0 and 20 pi 30 solutions okay so there's the answer to part 1 and for part 2 it says um, the same equation that line the region from 0 to 21 pi okay so you're going to have your 30 solutions you're going to have your 30 solutions plus well think about between uh, 20 pi and 21 pi just imagine this would be 20 pi and this would be 21 pi okay this would be 20 pi that would be 21 pi okay because that that is pi here all right that's pi so between 20 and 21 pi there's two more solutions there's two more solutions so it's going to be plus 2 so you're going to have 32 solutions so that's the number of solutions that lie between 0 and 21 pi okay so I hope that's clear I hope you understood that um, so this was a new really new style of question that wasn't really seen before at the time but there's been a few like it now since then okay so that's the answer to question C part 1 and C part 2 you got 30 for part 1 and 32 for part 2 I hope that was clear um, thank you for watching other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this area here other questions from trigonometry or trig graphs of p1 can be found in the playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link